All right, welcome to the next video on the resilience series. So last time I spoke a little bit around sleep. Okay, so this time I'm gonna to touch on some of the things that I spoke from there around that energy availability and looking for that sort of high burning foods. Okay, but today I'm gonna to talk around acceptance. So when we confront a problem, often it's very easy to look at how we got into this situation. So, you know, you might look for, okay, could this have been stopped? What if somebody else had have done something? Did they do what they needed to do before this got this problem got to me? So how have this other people's actions impacted what's going on right now? So you're not really in an acceptance. You're more looking for a reason as to how this isn't your fault. And you're kind of making yourself a victim to a degree of other people's decisions and how that's imposed what's happening to you on you or how that problem's been imposed on you. So you really want to shift away from that as fast as you can. So when you're in this sort of period where you're looking for reasons why this isn't your fault or how somebody else should have done something to stop it, you're in a, a high energy burn. So you're burning a lot of fuel that you should be using for other cognitive resources on focusing on the problem and how the problem could have been avoided. But the reality is, is the problem's here, it's happened. So you know, if you're in a car accident or in something like this, there's no point worrying about how it could have been avoided, like it has happened. You're at that point now where you just need to focus on what's the best way to get out of this problem, okay? So what's the best way to improve the situation, get the result, get back online with the path that you're on and then continue moving forward. So once you can accept that the problem's here and now you need to just deal with what part of it concerns you and worry less about you know, how someone else could have stopped this from getting to you, you can shift your attention then. So you start to shift away from looking at how you're the victim and you start to own your piece of the problem. So this is where my problem's at. How can I find the solutions I need to to get to where I wanna be? So that takes you from this high burn state back into a more relaxed state where now the problem's not your focus. So you've accepted it, you've moved on to, okay, now I just need to look at the solutions and find out what solutions are available to me. So you get this whole shift in your attitude. And when you go back through some of the other videos, a lot of them start to tie in with these principles now as well. So you become very solution orientated. So you can start to look at okay, well, what solutions are available to me? Okay, what can I do within that to find the outcome that I want? So you can start to look at prioritizing your options to work out the option that has the prior, highest probability of finding the outcome that you want. So once you move into that, you're also less threat orientated. So you sort of move away from looking for the threats and start to see the opportunities because the problem's not the concern anymore and you're not looking at all the threats that laid within there that could have been identified. So you, you move away from your threat orientation and now that you're looking at solutions, it also helps you sleep easier at night. So you're starting to get a lot more, a lot better cognitive function from day to day to solve your problem. Okay, and you, so you get your solution and then you just go through and triage what parts of the problem need to be solved first. So what's the, the number one biggest piece that you can solve? And then you go on and solve that. Okay, and then from there you accept the outcome from solving that problem as to where you're at right now and then you move forward on the next one because there's always going to be an unforeseen result of every time you do an action so every time you do an action there's going to be a, a result from that you that you didn't see is coming but wherever that puts you or whatever result that is that's a circumstance of your choices leading up until that point so once you accept that again don't worry about how it happened understand how to avoid it from happening again but accept it and then move on with solving your next problem. And if you can just go through solving problem after problem after problem, you're gonna get back to exactly where you need to be. And then a lot of times you've got the information for it to solve any similar problem in the future. So then that changes the expectation going forward from this time to next time. So, you know, even when we look at the problem at the moment, so like pandemics, these sort of things, like the concern is not how it happened now. We're here, this is where we are. We just need to understand how to make the best situation that we're in and then learn so that if this happens again, we have the skills to solve the problem and reduce its impact on us for the next time and for future. And also if we can understand how to deal with this, we, through our behaviours, we can show those around us. And for those who've got kids, we can show our kids what a response look like, looks like to this, so then they can start to learn and model those behaviors next time. So in summary, the faster you can accept where you are, accept that that's a result of all the choices you've made up until this point that's put you in the position where you are right now, you can start moving on looking at the solution. If, you, if you're unwilling to accept it and you're gonna remain that sort of victim mentality and concentrate on you know self-pity, these sort of things and worry about how hard it's been for you, then it's gonna be really hard for you to shift 
Okay, so you're gonna be in a really high burn state. It's gonna affect your sleep. It's gonna affect your nutritional choices. It's gonna have a really big impact on you. So the faster you can accept where you are and move on solving this problem and get to the solution, the better off you're gonna be. So hopefully that helps. Uh, hopefully it's all starting to come together for you now and you've picked up a few sort of key understandings and some takeaways. I uh, look forward to presenting the next topic. Um, as always, if you've got any questions, feel, feel free to reach out. Uh, get in touch through my website. There's plenty of resources on there. Uh, there's a number of videos to go back through and sort of review. Uh, and I hope this is starting to help and put together a nice good picture for you.